So I'm like, whoa, this is awesome. I placed a bet and I started creating and shifting my content strategy over to AI-oriented news and stories and AI-oriented websites and tools. And that's just where the market went. So I made two really good bets, short form video and, and AI. What ultimately led me to creating Syllabi is that I always saw Social T Pro and growing on social media as a repeatable process. And about two years ago now, I had the idea of, well, what if we could take the repeatable steps that are what goes into planning a, con a successful video marketing content strategy to grow organically and break it down and, and let software, what if we could leverage APIs and software to streamline the entire process? And so that's where the original like idea came from which turned into an MVP. And we ultimately launched Syllabi a little over a year and a half ago. Welcome everybody. My name is Jonathan Mast and I'm your host of the 91 Day Success Podcast. And today we're doing something a little different. We're actually going live during our recording. We're going to put our normal episode out on Friday, but Austin and I were talking in advance and we said, hey, let's go live too. So today I'm really excited. I've got Austin Armstrong with me from Syllabi. You guys may or may not know, I'm an AI nut and Austin has got some really cool stuff to share with us about Syllabi. So Austin, without me ruining the thunder and all that, if you would, tell us just a little bit about yourself and tell us about Syllabi. Why is it so important? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me on. It's a privilege and honor to chat with you, Jonathan. I've been a member of your group, uh, Facebook group, and I've seen all the awesome stuff you're doing in the AI. Well, thank you. And, and it's very cool to be a part of it. I have been doing social media marketing for about 19 years. Uh, I was a child of MySpace, immediately got addicted into the platform, knew that this was my true calling in life. I was about 14 years old at the time, and I've been doing it ever since. My professional journey started about 11 years ago in video marketing. When I moved out to California, I got started as a unpaid intern at a video marketing agency that specialized in the behavioral health space. I loved it. I saw the big picture there and I went from being an unpaid intern to a paid intern to part-time to a full-time employee. I was also very fortunate that my boss at the time became my mentor and now business partner. So he really trained me and invested in my training and sent me to conferences all around the country and sales training and really threw me into the deep end. I'm very grateful for that because it led me to become head of digital marketing at several other companies, drug and alcohol treatment centers. Uh, that was my area of expertise. Mm -hmm. uh, a little over five years ago, I started my first company, which is called Socialty Pro, which is a digital marketing agency that specializes in uh, short form video marketing. So TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, Facebook reels. That's right around the time where I got started growing my own personal brand online. I wanted to practice what I preach in the marketing agency space. I started to gain a large following online, started on TikTok and leveraged that just where the market went, followed with YouTube shorts and Instagram reels and, and Facebook reels. The big sort of thing that led to syllabi is my broad top of the funnel content strategy was sharing useful websites for business owners mm. and entrepreneurs. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm also very interested in AI and I'm a nerd in the sci-fi. <laughs> I just love the future of all of this. When I first heard about Dolly One from OpenAI is where I really started to immediately jump in interest. I think this was only two, two and a half years ago maybe not yeah. even that long at this point, started seeing clips. I'm like, whoa, this is awesome. I placed a bet and I started creating and shifting my content strategy over to AI-oriented news and stories and AI-oriented websites and tools. And that's just where the market went. So I made two really good bets, short form video and, and AI. What ultimately led me to creating Syllabi is that I always saw social T pro and growing on social media as a repeatable process. And about two years ago now I had the idea of, well, what if we could take the repeatable steps that are what goes into planning a con a successful video marketing content strategy to grow organically and break it down and, and let software, what if we could leverage APIs and software 
to streamline the entire process. And so that's where the original like idea came from, which turned into an MVP. And we ultimately launched Syllabi a little over a year and a half ago. So January 25th of 2020 is when we launched and it was very much just a content strategy tool. So showing you content ideas, helping you generate video scripts and a consistency tracker. So you would actually create the content, but we used it as a tool. Mm -hmm. And then as we got more users on it, I largely bootstrapped it at the beginning because of my personal brand and audience online. We funded the company that way and, and everything, and, and it's getting more and more powerful. And then we started adding video creation into the mix as well. And so now syllabi is really at an amazing point where you can do everything from discovering ideas across social media based on real data that we pull in queries that people are searching for online keywords, trending topic ideas. It writes video scripts. It creates the videos for you, whether they're AI avatars or faceless videos now is our most recent feature, or you can actually upload your own video. So it's very much a workflow tool as well. And then you can actually schedule and publish directly to your social media and track your analytics all within syllabi. So the whole goal of it is to replace the need to have a AI tech stack of five different tools to help you with your mm -hmm. video marketing and social media marketing, where you can just do it in a streamlined functionality from ideation to creation, to publishing and tracking your ROI all in one platform. Well, that's amazing. Tell me a little bit about the platforms. Obviously, when we talk video marketing, there's a lot of different platforms we can take a look at, whether we're taking a look at YouTube, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, TikTok. I know even LinkedIn and Twitter are really pushing videos. Yeah. And I even heard a rumor, although I'm not there, that Pinterest is really pushing that. Talk to me, what platforms does Syllabi connect to and does it help us with as we go out there? I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. To I, I love it. As of right now on this live stream, the three platforms that you can con immediately connect, schedule, and publish to are TikTok, YouTube, and LinkedIn. We have been working on meta publishing for the, almost a year <laughs> at this point. They are it's so got to be incredibly frustrating. They are the thorn in all of our sides. There's eight individual <laughs> points of approval for scheduling through meta. The good news is that depending on when you're listening or watching this replay, it probably will be integrated. We awesome. are at the finish line for Instagram, Facebook, and actually threads as oh, well. Wow, we're going cool. to be integrating threads publishing because they just really meta just released the API for threads publishing as well. So as of right now, LinkedIn, YouTube, and TikTok, Facebook and Instagram and threads are coming very, very soon. You've got my favorite platform out there, which is YouTube. And I love YouTube because of the fact that it's, I don't want to say it's evergreen content, but people can find your content no matter when you put it up there. If I go on Reels, nobody's going to see my content after a day or two in most cases. It's just the way it is. I don't know the algorithm as well. I don't have as much following, but I, I like the way that TikTok has really changed up the video marketing world mm -hmm. in the fact that it's now showing videos based upon things you like versus people you're connected with. And I think that was a big shift in the video marketing world. But I will readily admit, I'm a huge fan of YouTube. I get frustrated with it because I don't seem to get sometimes the traction I want, but I do know that those results are gonna show up in Google results sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I know that again, their algorithm does such an amazing job that if I can get my audience well-defined and if they can understand who that audience is, they're gonna do a great job of promoting my content. So the fact that you guys are on LinkedIn, I think is massive. Talk to me a little bit about LinkedIn though. I think a lot of people listening in particular really question video marketing on LinkedIn and, and is it worth the effort? Can you tell me your perspective, Austin, having been in the, that side of the business for so long? Yeah, I, I think LinkedIn is a great opportunity for business professionals networking with other business professionals. The reason that we're on this call right now is because of Facebook. I've had so many business opportunities come out of Facebook. It's crazy. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that have large, engaged, professional followings on LinkedIn. That is where content growth happens. Facebook is just mixed in with the family photos and the baby pictures and the memes and all of this stuff. LinkedIn is hyper-focused on professional. Now it doesn't really get the same organic lift and reach right now as Facebook does because Facebook has their own Facebook Reels algorithm mm -hmm. and discoverability and platform, which is incredible. However, a well-written educational text post 
alongside of video on LinkedIn can absolutely perform very well. And they teased, I think this about two, three months ago that they're actually working on a, a vertical video feed, very yeah. much TikTok or reels or the FYP, et cetera. There hasn't been much of a follow-up on it yet. There's no real news of when that is possibly coming out, but I think when that does, it's going to be a great opportunity to, to jump in. LinkedIn always seems to be the last to the game. And they I do, think it's, you know, it's, 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 yeah. it's a, like you said, it's a business to business platform that works well for what it does. And I think that makes a lot of sense. Talk to me a little bit about the types of videos. So you mentioned a couple of things. One, I know that's been super hot lately has been the whole faceless video trend that so many people I talk to, they don't want to be on video. I don't know why, but I know there's a lot of people that just, man, they just, they, they struggle with getting on camera. And for those of you that I can't convince that it's really safe and it doesn't hurt, talk to me about the faceless video, both from a marketing perspective, where does that fit into a marketing mix and how does Syllabi help make that happen? Yeah. So I've struggled with this question for a long time because I am so comfortable on camera at this yeah. point. I've been in thousands of videos and I understand it's a repetition thing. And coming from a marketing agency background over the last 10 years, that's a big problem and a reason why they hire an agency in, in the right. first place to help them with the video side of things. But there are so many individuals for so many reasons that don't want to be on camera. Maybe they're afraid of being made fun of by their friends, their peers, or internet trolls. Maybe they're professionally not allowed to because they want mm. to create content that conflicts or they have non-competes sure. their business that they're not allowed to do it. Maybe they're in a heavily regulated industry. There's a million reasons why. And so I really thought about all of the different ways that we can remedy this because my whole personal mission and vision is social media has literally changed my life for the better. <laughs> and I just want to provide the tips, tools, and strategies to, to help save other or change other people's lives as well, regardless if you want to be on camera. The other pain point is that sometimes you just don't have the time. There's busy professionals that sure. they're okay being on camera, but they just don't have the time to sit and record and batch content, or create content when they do have time. So we really have been working on solutions for all of these points. So faceless video in particular, this new feature, what it does is it essentially takes the video script. So you can either put in your own, you can type in your own script. You can use chat GPT to write a script. You can use our AI generator, which is uh, built on Claude oh. to write video scripts. Kudos. Best on the market, by the way. I, I love uh, Claude. Yeah. Love oh Claude. yeah. Claude's better than open AI at this point. And what it does is so you choose a different art style. And so what I'm talking about with faceless is basically there's no face, right? Okay. Self-explanatory there. But this type of faceless video is AI generated imagery that's that has transitions and has AI voiceovers or subtitles on top of it as well. And so that is the style of video and this is performing exceptionally well. And so how it works is after the script is input there, our backend reads the segments of the script and custom generates AI generated imagery based on the exact sentence in that oh, script, wow. in the specific art style. So you can choose 25 different art styles. I have sure. an oh, this is great. history channel. And so I, I create content about ancient Egypt and ancient Greece and ancient Rome, ancient China, ancient civilizations in general. And so if I make a script about the youngest pharaoh in ancient Egypt, right? It might say before or during the peak of the pyramids being built and on screen right there is an AI generated image of the pyramids being built. There was a young emperor, uh, King Tutankhamun, right? And then who became uh, the ruler of ancient Egypt, the, the youngest pharaoh at the age of, of three or whenever it was, right? And it'll show a young pharaoh at the age of three approximately, right? And so it goes through the actual script and it creates custom images. Each video we focus on shorts tends to be 16 mm -hmm. or 17 different images and it tells the story and it does such a great job of custom telling that story. The audience retention rates on these things are amazing, but that's just for fun. Like I, to better address your point, there's a lot of business owners that are using this as well. It's not just for fun. Like I'm a business owner. We're actually using syllabi to, to promote syllabi. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So like we have a lot of real estate agents. There's a lot of lawyers. There's uh, a lot of business coaches. There's authors that are writing books. There's people that work in digital marketing agency owners. And you can literally type in anything and no two videos will ever be the same. That's the amazing thing about this. But all NVIDIA does is it pulls stock B-roll from iStock and Shutterstock and Pexels mm -hmm. and some of these B-roll platforms that anybody can access. So it's, it's essentially the same B-roll over and over yeah. again. There's no two videos that will ever be created the same using syllabi because it's how it's generated is entirely unique. So it's pretty cool combinations. It's been cool to see how everybody's been using it so far too. Well, I really love that. And, and part of the reason I love that is again, just part of what my agency does is AI assisted content marketing and mm -hmm. we're big on video, but it's really hard when we're trying to get clients to answer questions to get those clients to get on video. And one of the reasons I was sharing with you up in the pre-call here is I, I just recently learned about syllabi and, and had some communication with you, which is why you're on here today. But I'm really excited about it because it gives a great opportunity for my clients that don't want to be on video. They don't want to show up. They don't have the time, whatever the case may be. We now can create cool videos. And I love what you just shared because the one reason I didn't like that other platform who shall remain nameless in video that we talked about was <laughs> that B-roll. Again, yeah. it wasn't inspiring. It wasn't engaging. I guess that's probably the right word. Maybe they can be, but the ones I saw, not engaging. And of course, the last thing I want to do if I'm trying to help a customer be seen as the go-to expert in their niche for a particular topic is creating a non-engaging video that doesn't engage their audience. That doesn't do any yeah. good. So I love that aspect. You also mentioned that you do an avatar side. And again, I'm mm -hmm. new to syllabi. So if you're listening here, um, Part of the reason I'm asking these guys is selfishly, I want to know some of these answers. And since we've got Austin, I'm going to ask. So you allow me to upload an image mm -hmm. and then turn that into an avatar. And talk to me about the benefits of that from, again, a video marketing perspective. Mm -hmm. If I don't necessarily want to do that, what benefits do I get of maybe uploading that image or that avatar and having that as opposed to doing a, uh, a faceless video, for lack of a better? What's the, the benefit to me as the business owner between those two? And what decision do I make? How do I decide which of those I should be doing? Yeah. So to break it down even further, there's actually two types of avatar videos that you can create. Okay. Syllabi. There's the talking photo, which essentially is you can upload a headshot uh, of mm -hmm. yourself or even an animated uh, character, as long as the, the facial uh, features are, are human-like. Mm -hmm. And it will animate the head, the lips, the mouth to read the script with an AI voiceover. And you can clone your own voice in there as, Very as cool. well. Or we actually have the a, like true AI avatar technology into syllabi as well. So that's something that we've partnered with another organization and really have worked on developing. It's none of the big ones. It's our own technology. Sure. It's really cool too. So you can actually submit about three to five minutes of video footage of you and there's specifications oh, wow. of, the, of that. And it trains the AI to move like you, look like you, sound like you. And you can basically create endless videos. The benefit of doing either one of those things is if you want to have your face and your voice as the personal brand online. So say you're like, I love to mix and match the content mm -hmm. because yep. you know one type might get boring or stagnant. So change it up. And I'm all about testing different content as well. So you could crank out a ton of faceless videos and then you can crank out a video of come to this open house with your photo avatar or your talking moving video avatar as well. The benefit that I always pitch, and this is great for marketing agency owners as well, that have a hard time wrestling up their clients to sit and record. You only have to record them once, or you as the individual only have to record once and you have That's the ability huge. to infinitely create more videos with your image likeness and voice on any topic that your customers are searching for or asking. Wow. So it's pretty crazy technology. Now, probably not a question you want me to ask, but I'm going to ask anyway, and I apologize. So I know you said you're right as we do this live, you're yeah. at the finish line for Meta and for the Reels and all that. Yeah. If I want to post a Reels today as we're doing this live, can I export that video out of Syllabi and post it? 
Oh, absolutely. Of course. Okay. Cool. Um, simple that we also have a, a built-in video editor so you can add your own branding and stuff, but oh, 100%, you can easily download and you can do it on desktop or mobile. It's mobile friendly, of course. I, I appreciate that. That's a big deal because I'm on the road a lot. I do a lot of speaking and sometimes I end up on an airplane or in a car mm -hmm. or in a hotel or wherever and my phone's what I've got with me. And it still amazes me to this day how many applications I can't run on my phone properly. Absolutely. Even Claude, which I love to death and I'm a huge fan of Claude. In the Claude app, I can't access any of my projects. So in, if I want to do that, I have a unique URL and I have that saved on a clipboard so I can get to them but I can't do it through the app, which is a big mistake. Yeah, so second you. kind of follow up to that is you're in my Facebook group. You've probably heard me preach in there. You don't need any apps other than chat GPT, Claude, Gemini, and perplexity, maybe mid journey and some things like that on the graphic side, because 99% of the apps out there, these bright, shiny AI objects that we see are just using chat GPT or Claude or whatever. And one of the reasons I'm so excited to learn more about Syllabus, this isn't just a, a badged version of ChatGPT or a rebadged version of Claude, but you're using some of those engines when it's appropriate, when you can get the yeah. best value, but you're bringing in an entirely different level candidly, even doing things beyond what ChatGPT has promised us with Sora. By the way, if you haven't noticed, they still haven't delivered on Sora months Yeah, what's and up months with that? Later. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> We're all waiting. Oh, and they make a trend of it. My goodness. They announced Sora yeah. back, I think it was in February or March. It's not out. Then they did a demo and telling us all these cool new voice and video features we were going to get, vision wow. features. Months later, now they just announced Search GPT. When, granted, that was just announced last week, but I'm not expecting any better out of that. It's like OpenAI has become the company that makes announcements, not the company that delivers software. So again, I'm a huge proponent. Don't buy all these AI tools because you don't need them. Yep. But syllabi in my mind is different in the fact that there aren't other tools that are out there that are doing what you guys have done. You guys have brought together an amazing amount of tools candidly to make our lives easier. And as a video marketer, make my life a whole lot easier. Talk to me about that. I'd love your perspective on our many AI tools out there, just rebadged versions and what makes syllabi different that it's not just a rebadged version of something already available. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head there. These are called wrapper layer technologies, right? Where yes. there's a, a general idea of a specific use case that's packaged around a third party. Exactly. AI. The idea behind those is they do all the custom prompting for you. They make it slightly easier yes. to do the task that you could likely do yourself in Claude or in ChatGPT or in MidJourney or any of these LLM APIs that you can have access to. I think there's a, a case for a lot of them, depending on your level of tech savviness and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. time willingness to learn all of these things. If you want a UI wrapped around a specific use case to do a specific thing, and you don't want to learn how to do that specific thing on chat GPT, cool. What separates us? And like you said, I don't think of syllabi as a wrapper, there are certainly some wrapper elements, but we're very much more a workflow tool. And so from A to Z, we are not just generating content. We also allow you to upload your own content and, and edit your content in there. So if we walk through every individual step, idea discovery, we leverage a third party API for this to show sure. you, you can type in a keyword related to your business. You said you work at your agency, you work with a lot of clients and YouTube is a search engine. That's why it is amazing outside of its discoverability, people search for things. Well, you can find the top keyword search tools on YouTube in your industry with search volume data, trending upwards and downwards. And with one click from there, generate a video script and then either choose a uh, faceless video, talking photo, regular mm -hmm. avatars, or you can upload your own video. We built a custom video editor from scratch that is our, oh, wow. our technology. We have a dedicated team just to the video editor. We have the scheduling and, and publishing side of things as well, which is that the whole UI is custom built there. A lot of these other faceless video tools out there, like I've got to do a little bit of competition here, like in video and Hey Jen and some of these other tools. They haven't put that time in to have scheduling. So none of, you can't schedule and publish to your platforms through any of those tools that I just mentioned. You can in syllabi. 
And so we really wanted to be, I want to be on that list, right? Chat GPT, Claude, perplexity and yeah. syllabi for your marketing, right? Where you don't have to use five different tools. You can just use one tool to do all of these different things in one streamlined place with one login and one low fee. So that's what we've really tried to do to differentiate. I don't want to just be a rapper. I want to be a workflow. Well, and I want to commend you it, from my experience, which is admittedly brand new. You and I just started talking a couple of weeks ago. So I'm brand new to syllabi, but I am impressed with what I'm seeing. I'm impressed with the way you've got things laid out. I, As a guy who's been doing video marketing now for about 18 months, every day publishing video, I appreciate those workflows because even when I've got a video editor to help out, it's still a process for me. And, and many times syllabi makes that whole process easier. And, and that's so greatly appreciated. I love the face video because let's face it we all have times when i'm on camera every day but i've still got times when it's like oh drat now i'm sitting here in my t-shirt and i'm watching a movie and it's nine o'clock at night my beard's a mess and i need to get my hair cut and i don't feel like going to just comb my hair to do the video sorry truth people that's just the way it is yeah. But I don't have to with syllabi because I can literally create that script that I want. I can upload it and I can now have that faceless video created. I can still connect with my audience. Sometimes changing up that video is good. Nobody wants mm -hmm. to watch the same exact looking video all the time. While yeah. consistency can be important, having some change in there, especially when it's on brand and with your editor giving people the ability to brand, I think that's really amazing. If you don't mind, I'd like to take a step away from syllabi a moment because I've been enough of a fanboy. But talk to me about, I want to talk now to the, the business owners, the business leaders, even the employees, the team members that are watching that are going, okay, I want to build a brand. I need to build a brand in order to be better at whether it be it means being the local Cub Scout leader, the local Boy Scout leader, whether that just means an, something I want to be an advocate for, or maybe it is for my business. Talk to me with your experience in video marketing. Where does somebody get started in that process? And a couple specific questions, and I'm going to tag, stack them up here. What type of video should they do? And how frequently should they be putting video up? If they're serious about building a personal brand, how would you tell them to start? how much content and what type of content. Okay. Let's awesome questions. Let's break this down one by one. Let's say you have no personal brand where, where before you even get to the video component there, you have to know exactly who you want to reach your ICP, your target demographic, your buyer persona, whatever you want to label it. Who is that person Jane? And the more specific that you can get the better, maybe it's John Doe. He's a 32 year old uh, millennial with a bachelor degree who is sick of being in corporate finance. So became an entrepreneur and he's interested in AI tools that can help him grow his business and save him time and increase his productivity. He's currently making about a hundred thousand dollars per year. His mm -hmm. average marketing budget on a monthly basis is $5,000 that he can freely allocate. The more specific that right. you can get here, the more that you can hone your message to that specific person. Next well, is the internal side. As a personal brand, what do you want to stand for? What do you want users to take away from your messaging? What are your core values that you want to put out there into the world? And you have to stay consistent with all of these elements uh, in order to really have a consistent and powerful personal brand and build that brand equity uh, over time. But to really build trust and rapport and build those loyal fans, you have to have that consistency of messaging and what you stand mm. for, because yeah. there's people that regularly show up in the comments, whether you've met them or not, they will defend you and they will mention mm -hmm. you in other people's threads. They will yell from the rooftops about you to help support you because you are bringing them along a journey. If you can bring the storytelling elements there as well, the hero's yeah. journey, if you can work that into your personal brand as well, like here's where I am. This is where I want to go. This is my goal. And I'm going to hit some obstacles along the way, but I'm going to share that with you. And we're going to do this together. These are all really powerful things that can go into personal branding and building that influence online. Now, when it comes to video, everything is, is dependent on your capacity and interest 
<laughs> sure, fair enough. Well. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. I am a short form guy. I am a short form video guy. I've been creating long form content for 11 years at this point. I don't find it as personally rewarding or as exciting. I do it, but I just don't get as much gratification and I procrastinate it. And it takes me so much more time and effort and mental capacity for less rewards or not as sure. not as fast. I get frustrated with it. Like we all do. Short form is easy for me to crank out. I am an ADHD entrepreneur. My mind goes a million miles Welcome a second. Welcome to the club. Yes. So, boop, 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 boop. I think a lot of us are. And so when TikTok came out like five years ago, I was like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this platform my whole life. This is my communication style. Like you, I talk in, in headlines, <laughs> like yes. here's a headline, here's a headline. Here's a... So a uh, short form video really worked for me and it has incredibly well for the past five years and it still continues to compound and grow. When I was starting and what I recommend for people when they're starting is as much as you can consistently commit to do more when you're starting to fail mm. faster and then mm. settle in and, and double down on what's working. So when I was starting three to five videos a day, seven days a week, I think only recently have I even taken single days off where I'm not creating and posting a new video. I've literally posted thousands of newly created videos every single day, just going about figuring mm -hmm. out what formats work, breaking down the opening hooks, breaking down the, the individual, like how long and how many seconds should a segment be before I have to show a new element on screen to continue to trigger the dopamine receptors mm -hmm. of our short attention spans. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So breaking down these things, the more that you put out consistently and consistently varies for everybody, right? Whatever your time sure. availability is but stick to it. If you can do one video a day, great. And you can commit to it every day. Great. If you can do three videos a day, every single day, if it's one video a week, I don't think it's enough, but if you can commit yeah. and start with one video a week, I would honestly recommend at least daily content as much as you can consistently commit to. And then once you find out for me, it's like these five websites feel illegal to know is like a series that <laughs> yeah. just crushed it for me. I know that the majority of the time that I do that video in that format, it is going to do well. So I don't need to do three videos a day to get the same amount of views. I can do one well-crafted video in that format. And I know that it's going to do well. And in the other times that maybe I'm experimenting with other formats and structures of content and, and different types of content, because you don't have to just post video. There's a sure. lot of mediums of, of content that you can create. That was a lot of information, I think. <laughs> no, that was fabulous. Well, I asked for it. I stacked up a bunch of questions on there and you did an amazing job of walking through that. And I, I really appreciate that because I think that's super relevant. As we bring the plane in for a landing here, I've got one last question. Our, our podcast is called the 91 Day Success Podcast. And by the way, guys, I did not prep Austin for this. So Austin, that's your warning. I'm going to say something I, I didn't no prep, but you'll handle it. I'm not worried about that. So Advice to anybody, if, if they said, all right, I want to start building my personal brand. I want to figure out a way to do it. And you can promote syllabi as much as you want to this. I'm fine with that. 91 days from today, 91 days out, that's three months out. What should they be doing over the next 91 days to build that brand, to build that inertia, to develop those habits that you were just talking about to be successful? Have your infrastructure in place, first of all. What are the goals of building your personal brand? Do you want to get revenue? Do you want to get sales? Do you want to get speaking engagements? Do you want to promote a book? Do you want to promote a course? Do you want to grow a school community, grow your email newsletter? Like whatever your goal is, really clearly outline and define it. Have it written down. You can mm -hmm. type it or like literally write it down in a notebook <laughs> to get those brain signals fired. Have that plan of what you want to get out of it. You probably should start with that. Next, outline your buyer persona, your target demographic, as much clear information as you can. Then outline your marketing strategy. Are you going to focus on short form video? Are you going to focus on long form video? Are you going to focus on text content, on image carousels? Are you going to be a podcaster? What is your preferred content format that you like? and can consistently commit to. Don't just create content for the sake of creating content. 
in a format that somebody tells you to create. If you don't like video, 91 days is not going to make you like <laughs> video if you hate doing it. Yeah. That's the other thing that's not really spoken about is people burn out because they're doing something for all of the wrong reasons. I like, I love this. <laughs> that's why I, I don't burn out because I obviously get so excited talking about all of this stuff. So after you have your plan in yep. place, maybe spend a week to like really define to do who you serve, how you're going to help them. You have the infrastructure in place. I would then start to immediately create content. If it were me, I would create videos. I would probably do three videos a day for 30 days straight. So 90 videos mm -hmm. a month there. I'll loosely promote syllabi because on August 1st, I'm starting a daily faceless video challenge using syllabi. So it's actually a great starting point. I'm going to be doing it alongside of everybody. We're going to be growing channels together. I'm going to be supporting everybody and, and sharing strategies and tips and reviewing videos and titles and channels uh, and whatnot. So if you want to grow a, a faceless video channel, uh, um, there, I have prizes and stuff. So that the, those are eligible for that. If you just want to build the habit of content creation and, and follow along and do it your way, feel free to do so as, as well. Challenges are great. The thing that really started my success on TikTok is I joined a webinar from Rachel Peterson. Shout out to Rachel. In, in her webinar is that perfect aha moment. She broke everything down, how to focus on TikTok as, as a business and your content strategy. And she like basically, I don't know if she said it or I got this out of it, but anyway, I gave myself an ultimatum and a th I gave myself a 30 day challenge. So I said, I'm for 30 days straight, I'm only going to create business oriented content for the goal of growing my agency. And I'm going to focus on educational content that helps business owners entirely for free. And it, it worked. An amazing thing happens when you hyper focus, Jonathan. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you have, 100 you have a goal in mind. You have an audience in mind. You have a strategy in mind. You set a clear intention and you take actions, actionable steps over and over again, and you stay consistent on it, magic happens. And so I would honestly like do that for the 90 days. Like yeah. I would immediately, I would just try and provide as much value as possible. Because you, if you're starting from zero, it's hard to sell things because people don't know who you are. They have to know and trust you. Uh, and if you're brand new, it takes time to build all your support, right? So create, create, I would network my butt off on Facebook, join John's AI Facebook group. It's awesome. Prompts for entrepreneurs. Great group. Just learn and observe and sit in on free webinars and listen to podcasts like this and take notes and study your content. Respond to every mm -hmm. single comment, leave a thoughtful response, just stick with it. And in 91 days, if you stick to all of that. I pretty much guarantee you'll see significant traction. Great advice. I love that across the board. And I'm really excited because, again, I know how important personal branding is. I know how beneficial it is. And I know how instrumental the video part has been to me doing that over the last 18 months. I also know what an absolute pain it is to get clients to do it. And I know that there's plenty of people listening here on the call today that are like, I don't want to do it. They're screaming. They're stomping. I don't want to. And I love the fact that with syllabi here, you can go ahead and you can create those faceless videos, but you're not stuck using B-roll that everybody else is using. You're going to have customized stuff. I love the way you describe that as you describe that video, that every sentence, it's creating that image, it's putting that out there. I absolutely love that. Watch my channel, guys. I actually recorded one of my first videos or had syllabi do one of my first videos here just today. It's going up to announce this whole conversation with Austin. I'm super excited. I think it's great. Austin, I want to thank you for joining me today and sharing. I'm super excited to continue partnering with syllabi and sharing with what's happening. It may very well be one that I add into my list of these are the ones you need to buy because I'm, I'm so impressed with what you guys have done. You've really thought this through well, and I'm, I'm super impressed. Last question for you, if people want to reach out and connect with you or anything else, I did just put a link for yep. uh, Syllabi in the chat so people can access that. But if they want to reach out to you or anything like that, what's the best way for them to connect with you? I'm also going to quickly say that, well, thank you for having me on, first of all. And that's another Absolutely. differentiator for us is I am very easy to get a hold of. <laughs> so ask yourself how many tech CEOs 
can you just regularly slide into their Facebook messengers or Instagram and send an email? We go, we do our absolute best with customer service. I get involved in everything. We, I hold webinars for people. We listen to every single piece of feedback and advice. We have built this platform in public since day one. We listen to every question, feedback point, struggle, issue, and we work on that to make it better. We have always said syllabi is built by creators for creators, no matter where you're at in that journey. And so mm. you can contact me on Facebook, Austin Armstrong. I'm Austin Armstrong across the board. My email is austin at syllabi.io. And just in case you do a Google search or a TikTok search, I am the nerdy with glasses, Austin Armstrong. I am not the curly haired 6'2 relationship influencer out in LA, Austin Armstrong, because he's got a lot of followers, nor am I the Florida's Gators defensive lineman coach, Austin Armstrong as well. I'm right there in the middle. So I'm the only <laughs> one with glasses. I love it. I love it. Well, and I want to encourage you guys go out, try syllabi. I've been majorly impressed. I'm impressed with what they're doing. Guys, give it a try. If I'm not mistaken, it's still it, totally free just to try it out. Is Am I correct on that, Austin? It is. There's a seven day free trial. And if you click on Jonathan's link, I'll give everybody a discount code as well. So just, so there's no like sticker shock or anything like it's $25 per month, which lets you create still cheap. Uh, with that. You can create 20 plus faceless videos or 20 plus videos every month, plus all of the other features that we mentioned. And if you use code syllabi 25, you can save 25% on any plan. So it's even cheaper. Wow. Wow, that's huge. Guys, that is amazing. 25 bucks is absolutely very reasonable for what you guys are doing. And that's even better with that code. So thank you, Austin. I appreciate you sharing that. That's amazing. Guys, I want to thank you for sticking with us through the call. We've had a great time. I also love your feedback. So you may be noticing we went live today. We're still going to go ahead and edit and we're going to re-release on Friday, branded and all that. But I'd love your feedback. If you like us going live and getting to watch it, and in just a moment, you're going to actually get one more shot of this because I'm going to ask Austin to, to do the three, two, one pictures moment so we can post that up on Facebook as well. If you liked it live, let us know because we'd love to hear that as well. So Austin, based on that, I never like taking snapshots or screenshots when people are talking because we all look dumb in the middle of that capture when we try to grab that screen capture. So can you give me three, two, one big smile? I'll grab a screenshot for the screen. So three, yep. two, one. All right, we got it. Just like that. So guys, that's what happens on the back end of the podcast. We do things like that. And that's how we get some things put together. So Austin, I want to thank you. I'll go ahead and send you this video as well. Share that with you so you've got access to it. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure. All right.